Hello and welcome to another Explorer video. Today we're taking a look at a white, blue and black or Asper color to Grease Fang Parhelion combo deck with the addition of Abhorrent Oculus now as well. This 3 mana 5-5 five five needs to exile 6 cards from our graveyard as an additional cost to cast it, but then at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep we also get to Manifest Dread, so make a 2-2 creature essentially that could be another Oculus that we can then turn face up for 3 mana, but it also adds a card to our graveyard so it can keep filling the graveyard for for some of our graveyard synergies. And then the real finisher, of course, is going to be Grease Fang, bringing back vehicles out of the graveyard for free each turn. And then we can also crew those vehicles with the four powered Grease Fang. And the one that we're hoping for is Parhelion, making a pair of angel tokens when it attacks. And then we can hit the opponent for 13, have two leftover angel tokens, which will likely close out the game on the following turn. But as a backup, we also have a one off Sky Sovereign, which can deal three damage to a creature or planeswalker when it enters and when it attacks, so we can often immediately deal a 6 damage. So that's the game plan. The rest of the deck is all going to be ways to fill the graveyard by either milling ourselves or drawing and discarding, so even if we end up drawing the vehicles we still have ways of putting them back in the graveyard, because with Grease Fang we also end up picking up the vehicle in our hand, so then we might need a way to once again put it back in the graveyard, so Grease Fang can return it for free. So at 1 mana we've got a full set of Stitcher Supplier, milling 3 cards when it enters and when it dies. Then we also have Otherworldly Gaze, which will surveil 3 for 1 mana. Can also flash it back for 1 and a blue, so if we do happen to mill it we can still get value from it out of the graveyard. And then I'm also trying 3 copies of Stubborn Denial as a 1 mana counter spell that counters non-creature spells unless its controller pays 1 mana. So a little force spike, but it also has Ferocious. If we control a creature with power 4 or greater it will just be a hard counter, so 1 mana and a gate, which is perfect when our creatures that we're trying to get in play are all 4 powered at least, with Oculus and a Grease Fang. And then once we play Grease Fang or maybe get it back out of the graveyard, we can now also protect it with Stubborn Denial in case the opponent has instant speed removal for it, which can sometimes be the weakness of this strategy. And then at 2 mana we can draw and discard using either Tainted Indulgence, which will draw to and discard, unless there are 5 or more mana values among cards in our graveyard, at which point we probably don't need the discard effect as much. And then a Faithful Mending, which will gain 2, draw 2, and then discard 2. So discard disadvantage, but it also has a flashback, so we also don't mind milling it and getting it back out of the graveyard. And then the Picklock Prankster can mill 4 cards and reveal an instant sorcery or fairy to put in hand, so that can also fill the graveyard while still providing extra cards in hand. And then if we happen to mill some of our 3 mana creatures we can also get them back for just 2 mana using Recommission, in which case it also enters with a plus 1 plus 1 counter, or we can use Can't Stay Away, so if we would die it gets exiled instead, but it also has a flashback, so again if we mill it we can still get value from it out of the graveyard, which is worth it over Recommission in my opinion. The reason we're not playing Helping Hand in this deck, which you might see in the standard builds of Oculus, is that the creature enters tapped, and if we reanimate a Grease Fang tapped then it wouldn't be able to crew a Parhelion, so that's enough of a drawback that I prefer sticking to the 2 mana reanimation spells instead. And yeah, that pretty much sums up the entire deck. The mana base just fast lands and shock lands, so we can hopefully play the fast lands early without taking too much damage, and then have the shock lands around turn 4, so we still have 4 mana available. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play. We have Gaze and Mending to fill the graveyard. And then can't stay away to maybe reanimate an Oculus, for instance. So we're looking for creatures to reanimate. So let's see what our opponent's up to. A red-white. And a hardfire hero. So an aggressive deck. And yeah, we found Oculus, so that's perfect. Don't need to land four. And Prankster I also don't really need. So turn two, make an Oculus. Gets to Manifest Dread, which can also fill the graveyard for us. And Faithful Mending going to the graveyard provides a bit of value. And then I'm hoping they don't have a Sheltered by Ghosts. Opponent is an Aura deck, but luckily just a Demonic Ruckus plotted. Okay, so what's next? Wanna look for maybe Grease Fang and Parhelion, or find Stubborn Denial for interaction. For now we can keep up mana at instant speed. Can probably play this tap to save myself some damage. And then just get in with Oculus. 
I guess they can give their creature mana, so maybe there's no point in keeping back my 2-2s. Two we'll pass. And there's Greasefang going to the graveyard. Or we can select it and then turn it face up. But now we'll send it to the graveyard since we can bring it back for two mana. So now all we need to do is mill a vehicle to bring back. Light pause is bad news since now our opponent can cast a two mana demonic ruckus and search up the uh, sheltered by ghosts to remove the oculus. And yeah, our deck doesn't really play removal. So Oculus gone. Parhelion might still be able to get there, but Light Paws can also overpower the Flyers eventually. But I guess they're already down to 13. So Prankster will probably dig the deepest here. As opposed to Gaze or... Mending. And we found a Stubborn Denial. Would have been nice earlier. So yeah, maybe had I kept up the extra mana, I could have countered the Demonic Ruckus. Now I can still dig with Gaze. And then if we hit a vehicle, I can still reanimate here. And we found Parhelion, perfect. So can't stay away, bring back Greasefang. Get back Parhelion. Crew it. And that's gonna be a lethal in the air. I guess we do have to watch out for the one mana flash aura that could then also search up the flying enchantments. But yeah, her opponent has seen enough. Was just gonna have to do the math to see if it was worth it to send in the two twos, or if them eating it with a huge life linker would have been worse for me. But yeah, that worked out. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We have a way to reanimate, a way to mill. Just missing a discard outlet for Parhelion, pretty much, which the prankster might find. So I'll try it. Put on green white with a voice of resurgence, so I'll be main phasing my spells. And I'll main phase Tainted Indulgence now, discard Parhelion. So we've got our Grease Fang ready to go. Put on maybe some sort of Hate Bears deck. Yeah, keeping up three mana. Not sure what kind of removal they're playing nowadays, but I'll try and go for it anyway. Even Interrupter makes sense. So, Exiles. Greasefang will cost two mana next turn to redeploy. Yeah, I'll still go for it. No better alternatives. This time it's going to be a Bodyguard exiling Greasefang, so we don't get to have our fun. Alright, so we could be in a bit of trouble here. If Supplier mills a 3-drop, we can reanimate it next turn. Now Faithful Mending... I guess costs 5 mana because of the Interrupter. So this card's quite good against us. Still happy to chump in the hopes of milling something. Found a Grease Fang, so we get another shot at it. Yeah, let's try it. Third time's a charm, maybe. Collected company, so they're hoping to hit something. Uh, yeah, that happens. We won't be able to find a Stubborn Denial to respond with. 
And just a Thalia. Alright, so... I get my Parhelion at long last. And in this matchup, hopefully that's enough. Bones at 5. To be safe, I can play another creature here, just a prankster. Now I don't have a way to necessarily discard Parhelion to bring it back a second time. But maybe the Angel tokens can go the distance. If they trump with Interrupter, they still take 5. And we can also cast Oculus at this point. And yep, yeah, second company couldn't find the answers they were looking for, and our opponent explodes. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a hand that's yeah, just looking to mill a vehicle, pretty much. I'll try it. Opponent with a Forsaken Miner, so maybe some sort of graveyard combo deck. Turn one can keep up Stubborn Denial slash Gaze. And a scrap heap, so I think this is a sacrifice deck actually, with uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods and friends. Three lands that I don't really need. And then we'll pass with Prankster available, but can always denial if needed. So we are under a bit of pressure here. And Osteomancer can get stuff back. Milled Oculus. Don't need another Stubborn Denial. And a Faithful Mending. So what's the best I can come up with? Probably just passing the turn after playing a Stitcher Supplier. And then we've got a couple options at instant speed. Milt Parhelion, so next turn we can go for it. If I draw land with Denial backup in case they have removal for Grease Fang. And Supplier is happy to chump. Insidious Roots will happen, can't really counter it, would have to double denial and then they can still pay for it. So then Mending end of turn can gain some life back as well. Discard double Parhelion. And land enters tapped, so I won't be able to play Grease Fang with denial backup, but have to go for it here. And hopefully the two angels are good enough on defense as well. They can push one of them. Alright, so still get in for nine. And then next turn we still have lethal with another Parhelion. So we'll see what happens. Ivar, pretty nice alongside Insidious Roots, but those plans don't fly. They can still activate the Osteomancer, potentially get stuff back. The uh, Maverick can give them a plus one counter, the plant can tap for mana thanks to Tyvar. they've got another Insidious Roots. And then Deathrite luckily does not exile vehicles. So it wouldn't be able to interfere with the uh, Parhelion plan, otherwise that would have been a problem. Make some mana. Get back Maverick. Trigger Roots. Which can also maybe get back Scrap Heap. But don't want to lose the Angel token. 
So we're at three. And then next turn we should have lethal in the air. But yeah, if uh, Deathrite was able to exile Parhelion, they could have prevented me from winning next turn, and then they definitely have lethal on the way back. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand does a lot of surveilling, but then we're still kind of far from a third line for Oculus. So I don't think I like this. This is a bit better. Indulgence or Mending can discard Sky Sovereign. And then we're just missing Grease Fang or Oculus, which we can also reanimate. So what do I get rid of? Might be the Mending, since we already have a discard outlet, although this we can use twice, but is also a card disadvantage when we're already mulliganing. Could also get rid of Can't Stay Away, but this will be useful in combination with Prankster if we mill a 3-drop. So close call. Our opponent on blue-red. Could be a Phoenix deck. As we see, consider end of turn. Okay, so for now, pass with Prankster and Indulgence available. Opponent did miss their second land drop, by the way. So they might have another Spell Pierce in hand, for all we know. Start here. Discard Sky Sovereign. And then can pass with a plan of using Prankster and casting Gaze. Milled another vehicle, as well as Oculus, which we can reanimate. And all of these can go. Now they could have a Lightning Axe for Oculus, which can remove it before we get a chance to manifest Dread. But now we can actually Stubborn Denial as well. Do you have a Lightning Axe? I bet you do. This card's a Ledger Shredder, so we'll counter. Keep our Oculus around for a bit longer. And get to Manifest Dread. Hoping to find a Grease Fang. This one, I guess we'll grab the creature. Alright, opponent finally finds land 2. Do they have a second Lightning Axe or maybe double burn spell for Oculus? And is Lightning Axe number 2 discarding an impulse? Oculus exiled since we brought it back with Can't Stay Away. So yeah, the game goes on. Our opponents go to one Phoenix that they can maybe return next turn. For now, can draw two, and then maybe flash back a gaze end of turn. Can go for mending, but uh, yeah, we'll hit for two. Any of our three mana creatures would be good draws. And we can flash back, can't stay away now too. Opponent takes out our face down Stitcher Supplier, could turn it face up to mill. Yeah, I guess that's equivalent to flashing back a gaze. Since we can reanimate a creature too here. And we did mill Oculus. So our opponent needs to cast two more spells to get back Phoenix. Looks like a treasure cruise for starters. And that's pretty good. And a sleight of hand, so Phoenix returns. And we start taking some damage. But the coast is clear for us to combo. Can start with a 1 mana gaze, which can still mill a Grease Fang. And then we can reanimate it. That's another swing and a miss. Could also cast Mending and then still draw into a 3-drop that I can cast. So maybe that's worth it as opposed to just going for Can't Stay Away on Oculus right now, which at least would guarantee a Manifest Dread and put a 5-5 in play. 
Yeah, maybe that's still good enough. And then I'll put some upkeep stops so we can gaze before taking my draw step. If that's what we decide to do. And then another Oculus can go face down. So I wouldn't mind it if that one survives. Opponent considers. Keeps on top. Now an opt. So if they find a third Lightning Axe, they can clear Oculus, maybe discarding a Phoenix and reanimate it. It's just going to be another opt. So our opponent just kind of spinning their wheels a bit. But also fueling the graveyard for another treasure cruise. If Phoenix attacks, I think I actually block. Because if they have a burn spell to finish off Oculus, it also could have finished off the face down card, which is another Oculus. And it might have been a bluff. Ah, fiery Impulse, that's fine. Does also get exiled, so take my draw step, or do we cast an upkeep gaze? Yeah, I guess we can still do this and flip up Oculus. Alright, there's Grease Fang. So we'll keep that one on top. And then casting Grease Fang is gonna be the play. Get back Parhelion at long last. And then we're just gonna be one point shy of lethal. Had we taken the damage from Phoenix, then they still would have had Fiery Impulse, which would have taken out our Grease Fang, so it was actually good to bait that out. And our opponent explodes. Awesome, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, and it's been a while since I've seen a no land hand in Best of One. But uh, yeah, can't keep. This we can try. So we can use Prankster. Hoping to find maybe a discard outlet for Parhelion, and then we still need Grease Fang. But it also helps maybe cast the Oculus. Or I can get rid of Can't Stay Away. But then if I mill Grease Fang, I don't have a way of getting it back. I think I still want to keep the three lands. Maybe Parhelion goes. Because at least if I mill Oculus, Can't Stay Away can bring it back. But now if we find Grease Fang, we'll need to find another Parhelion. Opponent on the red aggro on the play, so this might be a tougher matchup. I'll play a fast land since it's not like it benefits me to play a tapped fountain. So this is the aggro pump spell variant close to the standard list. Opponent plots a slick shot. Found Grease Fang. Well, if we mill Parhelion, we're still good to go, so keeping the one in hand wouldn't have made a difference. And the uh, upside of this version is that we get to play at instant speed a bunch, so our opponent might fear interaction, not knowing what we're playing. So they're not committing the slick shot yet. Alright, opponent puts Gigantha in hand, that's surprising. So, yeah, if we mill a vehicle, we're golden. Did not quite get there. So what do we like? Probably Gaze. I can put an upkeep stop for what it's worth. And then cast it. And then if I mill a vehicle, I can still can't stay away Grease Fang to combo. That seems like the move. Eh, not quite. So now I don't have a great play other than can't stay away Grease Fang. As we keep drawing more. Yeah, I guess we'll just flash back gaze instead. But now our opponent might go for it. And there are slick shots. Ancestral anger for starters. Happy to take it. Alright, so opponent didn't want to fully commit yet. So we might still get a turn to try and combo. But can't seem to find our vehicles. Of course we did put a Parhelion on the bottom. 
So now my play could just be to cast an Oculus, or I can keep the Mending, which I can cast alongside Can't Stay Away, and then we still have a chance of drawing into a vehicle, plus I could also discard Oculus and bring it back. So that might be the play. Alright, so start with Mending. No vehicle, sadly. So, discard Oculus. And then I can recommission it back, so it's a bit larger. But we're at 11, so I don't think we'll survive another turn. I do get to Manifest Dread, which can also help put a vehicle in the graveyard. Stubborn Denial, I don't need to show them yet, I guess. Alright, so block your Slick Shots. And then between Hardfire Hero and Swift Spear, maybe block Swift Spear. Although if I block Hardfire, let's say they do have a Cell Sword in hand. They don't get to maybe combo with a hard fire as much if they don't have enough ways to increase toughness. Alright, Monstrous Rage means it already survives. Some that to a Cell Sword for sure. Titan Strength as well. So that's 9 damage going through. And that's 12. Alright, that's game. So. Opponents waited for the right opportunity to strike, although they did give us perhaps more time than if we just tapped out. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got Supplier for Mill, Indulgence to discard Parhelion, and then hopefully turn 3 Grease Fang. Yeah, we can try. If we mill Grease Fang or Oculus, we can also recommission it back. Opponents playing with Kiruga, so it's a slower deck. And mill the Parhelion. So now all we need is a Grease Fang. So we might be going for a Prankster on two. Our opponent might be playing with Leyline Binding, they already have four basic line types, so it will cost them two mana. can also be an answer to a Grease Fang at instant speed. Alright, let's see what we can mill. We mill the Grease Fang, grab a Gaze, and draw another Grease Fang. So what's the plan? Probably just cast Grease Fang and maybe get it exiled. Their opponent could also exile Parhelion itself. Uh, and then next turn we can discard another one. So that still works. Is that better than going Supplier plus Recommission? I think so. So do you have an answer? Oh, looks like it. It's gonna be a Carnosaur. Alright, so now I think our opponent's actually on the uh, Quintorius combo deck which can win on turn 5, or I guess even turn 4 with a bit of ramp. So even if we do bring back Parhelion, it's not going to be lethal, and then Quintorius can uh, combo off. And uh, all I can do is recommission back Grease Fang, and hope that's good enough. We'll have one extra toughness, so actually could have survived the Carnosaur had we gone for that play last turn, although they could still have a Leyline Binding in hand. Or they might go for Binding on Parhelion. Or they could just take it and still win next turn, so... Not loving my chances. Stubborn Denial is what we needed here to counter Quintorius. So maybe there's a world where we don't go for it, and then just cast Indulgence in the hopes of drawing into a counterspell. 
All right, let's see for dead. Opponent cycles a trium. Five mana. And yeah, if they had Quintorius, they would just slam it down. And our opponent explodes, so possible they had Carnosaur to combo on the following turn, but just didn't have the five mana win condition. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got a hand that's just missing a vehicle. And uh, yeah, we've got some interaction with Stubborn Denial. Prankster can also maybe find some goodies. So keepable hand facing Gigantha. It looks like a red aggro, turn one Swiss spear. All right, for now, do we have a preference? Prankster versus Mending. Prankster digs a bit deeper for a vehicle. So that's probably what we're going for. Bonin plots a slick shot. And that's a swing and a miss. All right, Sky Sovereign, so next turn we can get that going for now. Probably still okay playing the untapped land, so I can cast two spells. There's a chance we can Stubborn Denial something impactful. Kumano, I wouldn't be able to counter... Opponent also has to fear interaction here. Goes for a wizard's lightning. So how much damage are we talking about here? That's uh, not quite lethal. We're at four. Cast mending. And I play with fire. I could counter now just to save myself two damage since I don't need to worry about removal on Grease Fang now. That seems okay. And then Sky Sovereign can clean up both creatures. Or we can go for Parhelion now. Which is better? Part of me actually still likes Sky Sovereign. Two Angel tokens are going to be good blockers. But I could still maybe die to like a Cell Sword if they're playing that. Although I kind of doubt this version is playing Cell Sword. It's more of a burn spell deck. Yeah, close call. Either way, we will need a second turn with Grease Fang to actually close it out. And then if our opponent's at 14, next turn we can deal 13 with Parhelion. So I guess that's an argument for going for Parhelion first. Because that way we can actually close out the game next turn. And a 4-4 blocker should be more or less equivalent to destroying their creature. But if I die to a Cell Sword here, I'll regret it. Right, just a Lava Runner with a counter. So I'm still dead to... I guess a 3 damage burn spell doesn't do it. So yeah, I'm not sure what kills me. And yeah, just enough to get there. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We have double Oculus, couple ways to fill the graveyard, but no way to reanimate an Oculus if we, let's say, discard it with an Indulgence. And one land is also problematic, so I think we can do better. Now we've got the vehicles. No discard outlet, no Grease Fang. But uh, yeah, still potentially a workable Ditch a Sky Sovereign, turn one Gaze, turn two Prankster. We'll get to see a lot of cards. Our opponent, a red-black, takes a look with Thoughtseize. I'll Gaze in response. And then our opponent likely to take the Prankster, so keeping another one on top seems fine. Pass a turn. 
and a fear of missing out, so it looks like maybe a reanimator deck. I'm discarding Parhelion, so it's also Grease Fang, just a Mardu version. Mill Stubborn Denial. Won't be able to stop a Grease Fang. And now a Stitcher Supplier. So yeah, it's not looking great for us. Can play Supplier, pass with Denial and Gaze. And then Mending, we can eventually flash back. We already have Parhelin in Graveyard, just missing our creatures. We've seen about a third of our deck. And it's going to be a Liliana. Yeah, that seems worth countering, although not that the plus ability affects me, nor does the minus two. So, not actually sure if I care. I'll let it go. It's going to plus. Could help them enable Delirium, but so does countering their Planeswalker. Right, so we'll just flash back. Still nothing. Don't think I need to put an upkeep stop. And there we go, Grease Fang. Our opponent's at 14, so actually if we attack with a supplier, we have 14 exactly. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Can play Supplier into Supplier, turn 3 cast Oculus at the very least. So I'll give it a shot. Facing turn 1 Mountain. Now Mending's also an option on 2. Mill the Grease Fang. So if Mending discards Parhelion and draws into a reanimation effect, we can maybe set up turn 3 Grease Fang instead. Opponent in the meantime plotting a slick shot, and we drew another Grease Fang. Well, now it's simple, just Mending, discard Parhelion. And then turn 3, try and set up Grease Fang. Slick shot can deal quite a bit of damage here. But they also need to potentially respect some interaction, a second slick shot. Well, luckily for us, they're not going for it. And then the angel tokens can also play defense for us. So we'll cast a Grease Fang. Get back Parhelion. And hit you for probably 14, get in with Supplier as well. And then if the Angel Tokens trade, that's fine by me. Now we only have five cards in Graveyard, so we won't be able to cast an Oculus until we play another Supplier first. But we can also use either Indulgence or Mending to discard Parhelion to bring it back a second time. Alright, let's see for dead. Opponent starts with a Might of the Meek. So they can Trample. Turn inside out. If they can make their creature large enough and use a cell sword, we could just die to that. And yeah, they can trample for nine, but then cell swords doesn't work since their creature's dead. So we're obviously blocking. We're at eight, but their creatures are dead. And I'll go for Mending, perhaps. And discard Parhelion. And that'll do it. Awesome. And we get to rank up here as well. So yeah, this Asper Grease Fang deck seems pretty powerful. Having the alternate angle of attack with Oculus is great. With ways of bringing it back or just filling the graveyard so we can cast it for three mana. Question is, when building this deck, do you opt for playing Fatal Push and Thoughtseize? Do you play Stubborn Denial? Not quite sure what the optimal build looks like, 
But yeah, in theory, having Stubborn Denial as a way to counter opposing non-creature spells, as well as protecting your Grease Fang if you're ready to combo, seems valuable. So I've been liking this version so far, but there's a lot of ways to approach this deck. You could also try versions with a Ledger Shredder as another discard outlet, and uh, then having lots of cheap spells can enable Connive to discard your vehicles. But not having to rely too much on creatures can be an advantage if you're facing removal heavy decks, and then again the stubborn denial to protect your win conditions as well. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.